CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can access the P2P or dummies method for remote viewing your security DVR or NVR. So first, I need to click the menu option down here. There's going to be a login button. I'm going to log in using the default password for my recorder. And then I can go back to the menu button down here and then click the settings button or option. It's going to bring up a main menu. And first, I need to make sure that my DVR is successfully connected to my local network. I can do that by going to the network settings. It should automatically take you to the TCP IP page. Here you can see this tab is called TCP IP. And if you're not here already, you can click it over here and it will take you to this tab. So there's a static IP address here that I've already configured for my local network. If you know nothing about IP addresses or how to set them, then you're going to want to tick the obtain an IPv IPv4 address automatically and then click the apply button. I know what my IP address of my recorder is and it is a compatible IP address for my local network. So I'm going to leave it as my static IP address that I have set myself. So now that I know that my recorder is on my local network and it has a compatible IP address for my network, I can then enable the P2P method or in this DVR it's called NAT. So I need to go to the NAT tab or NAT tab and here we can see it's disabled. So I need to click the enable button and then click apply. After I've done that, the P2P serial number is found on that page. And this is the P2P serial number code that you're going to use in the PC software or on the mobile app to connect to your system remotely. Now there is a second way. The second way is going to be using the web browser. Here I have Microsoft Edge opened up to a blank page. And the second way to enable the P2P method or to get that P2P code or the, the NAT serial number or P2P serial number is to by accessing the DVR using that IP address. So I've already set that IP address as you saw earlier in the video so I can access my system directly using this IP address. If you're not sure what the IP address is for your system, then you're better off using the monitor method to get your P2P serial number as shown earlier. So I'm just going to go ahead and log into the web interface of my DVR and find that setting. So I'm just logging in using the default username and password. And then I can find that by going to the function panel. In the function panel it looks very similar to the monitor interface. Then I can go to network. And then I need to find the NAT menu option here under network. I can click NAT. And here we can see that I did enable it on the monitor interface. So if it's disabled, you're going to want to make sure that this checkbox is checked and then click the apply button and that you get a NAT successful st status. And here is that same P2P serial number code and then the P2P or NAT in this DVR's case code is listed there. Again, this is going to be the QR code that you scan on the mobile app or if you're adding it to the desktop software, this is the serial number that you're going to plug and chug into the software to remotely view your system. Hopefully this video helps you enable the NAT or P2P method on your DVR or NVR and then find the NAT code for the desktop application or the mobile app. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.